Hey Godless Particles, Weissapple here, most godless of housebrows. And if the rest of the world can go bonkers, I see no reason I can't vlog in my pajamas. I can't promise you an apple a day in May, as some of you have asked. I don't think I'm quite up for that between time and energy, but I definitely will be vlogging a lot more in the near segments of futureness. So, tomorrow I was invited to a picnic, uh, which means I will be here vlogging in these same pajamas, drinking coffee, and eating almond butter out of the jar with a spoon. I do share it with a squirrel in my backyard that I've become friends with named Beverly. He's nice. Regarding the Amtrak derailment earlier this week in Philadelphia, one of the details that has emerged is that the engineer, Brandon Boston, uh, is a gay man. And in an attempt to out-crazy other right-wing crazies, uh, conservative host Sandy Rios, as seen on the faux news, had this to say. Let's listen. Now, here's the part that I really don't think that you'll read anywhere else. The Daily Mail just doesn't know, I guess, well enough to kind of edit things like this. But Boston is a gay rights activist who previously lived in San Francisco before moving to New York. In 2012, he was interviewed by the Midtown Gazette, which covers part of Manhattan. During the campaign for marriage equality, he said, it's kind of insulting to have to beg people for my right to marry. I feel like we shouldn't even have to have this fight. Now, I am not uh, saying that, I am not inferring to those of you that are gay rights activists and who like to monitor the show, I'm not inferring that this accident happened because he was gay. But I do think it's an interesting part of the story, and you can bet it will be edited out. Oh. I would say this, I know... Of a, of, I know of at least one situation, and I don't know if this relates to Brandon in any way, but when people are going through some uh, confusion that has to do with the very core of who they are, like, for instance, someone I know who was a pilot for a very large airline. So that's all there is on that tape, and that's all we really need to hear, because we heard what she didn't say. You know, when you say you find it interesting, and you're not inferring it, you're not saying it's a factor, but here it is, you're saying it. You're on the news. If you don't want to say something, don't say it, because the message came across loud and clear. You know you hate gays when you don't even need any other details to emerge to decide that their gayness is an interesting factor in the crash and she actually talks about people being confused like because he's gay even though he's a gay rights ad advocate and he's out he must be confused in some way for being gay like what does she think happens like he would he had a big bow and was singing musical and, and doing his lipstick and there's a guy with a shirt off working on the train tracks and he i can't even drive straight because of my gayness Sandy Rios, you are one stupid bitch. Just another reminder that the world is not in its right mind. There's this excellent video that came out a month ago, and you probably all have seen it because almost 200,000 people have seen it, and a lot of them are in our little community such as it is. It's Dark Matters Universe video. Who are you? I, I don't know. I just got here. Me too. What is this place? It's... everywhere. It's so good, as is the video that came out after it. He puts a lot of work into his stuff, and we all really enjoy it. So what's crazy about that, you say? Well, nothing. Except around that same time a video came out, and it got 355,000 plus views. It's Trish Paytas eating a tray of cupcakes. She's oddly entertaining, but she's no dark matter. I work with really nice but serious people all day, so I will sometimes tune into vloggers like Trisha Paytas and I just laugh, probably because I don't eat that stuff anymore, so it's kind of food porn, <laughs> but she does amuse me. She said she said it, she's doing a uh, mukbang, which is the video that she's doing there. And, she said she's seen the Japanese girls do it, which is very interesting because it's Korean. No dark matter there. Well, I'm only scratching the surface. I will definitely be back in the next couple of days with more insane topics from this mad, 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 mad world. 
and at least we can commiserate because people like you and Paul Eugene and I at least are all still sane. Wait, I'm getting a message from Lassie. What's that girl? <coughs> what? Timmy fell in the well? <coughs> I will call the proper authorities right away. <coughs> Good girl, Lassie. Thank you.